Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video going over Jester's latest video where he says that he's got a voodoo doll of Angela, this app on his iPhone where there's a talking cat and she basically repeats everything back to you. She's got a whole bunch of buttons on screen that you press and she does different actions and he's totally manipulating his audience. He also takes a jab at J-Station. When he goes after my boy on J-Station, that's when I stand up. So we'll get into that on today's video, but let's go ahead and smash 200 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. Also, if, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe. Also, the fact of the matter is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so he starts the video off by showing you a doll. And this doll looks just like this character, Angela. I don't know if he had it custom made or what, but it's clear that it's pretty much the same doll as the famous character on the very, very popular app, Angela, where she speaks and repeats after you. Now, he says it's 3 a.m., like, oh, you should never use the Angela app at 3 a.m. or bad things happen. But first of all, he's not proving that it's actually 3 a.m. And in the past, when he's tried to prove that it's actually 3 a.m., he's just only proven that it's really 3 p.m. So he's got his boy Mike with him. Mike's got his own channel, just like Graphnix does. They all do their thing together where they collaborate. He shouts him out, this, that, and the other. But it was actually kind of funny. But at the same time, he's taking a jab at someone who's down, and it's not nice to kick your friends when they're down. So what happens is he starts out his video showing the doll and showing the app. He, and he explains the situation like I just have. He then points a the camera over to Mike, and this is where it goes down. Mike says, when I was a kid, <laughs> and then Jesse, Jester, cuts him off. Now, Jesse, of course, instructed Mike to do this so that he can kick J-Station when he's down. And that's not cool. You should go and comment on Jester's latest video and let him know that's not cool to kick a boy when he's down. Uh, I'm Jason Station's not doing too good right now. He's not putting videos out. He's probably not in the best place mentally, not having his normal and regular income, which allows him to live the lifestyle, the luxury lifestyle that he's been used to for so long. So that's not cool, dude. Then, as we get into the video, he pretends as if he's punching the doll and that it's actually affecting the cat on the app like a voodoo doll normally would. But what's going on here is they're just punching or touching Angela in different ways on the screen where you're not seeing and they're pointing the camera up and down while they're doing this so you don't see them touching or punching the cat on the app and then the cat on the app is reacting it's not actually connected to the stuffed animal that they are saying is a voodoo doll and is working like that magically also in the video they're talking to the cat on the app the cat is of course saying what they say, repeating what they say, just like a parrot, except they're doing cuts. So there, a few times they ask Angela a question, Angela asks the same question over again, as the app is supposed to act. But, of course, they want Angela on the app to actually answer them in reality, kind of like Siri would, but in a more intelligent way, like a human. And what they're doing, if you notice closely, is they're doing jump cuts. So they'll ask Angela a question and then they'll cut it and Angela will magically answer the question like a human would. When they do this jump cut, he adds a special sound effect so that you hopefully don't notice the jump cut. Very tricky, right? <laughs> he does this several times in the video. Mike goes along with it. Mike punches him, punches the doll, like I said, the voodoo doll where the app reacts, but the app only reacting after the, f the guy filming touches the app to make it react. And the guy filming points the camera up so you don't see him touch it and then points it back down. Not too sneaky, in my opinion. And then Jester says out of the blue, let's burn the doll. Let's put a flame to it and see how it reacts. So they put a flame to it. They get uh, Angela on the app to start screaming and yelling like she's actually hurt. But of course, that's just them screaming and yelling and having Angela repeat it back magically. 
with another jump cut. And this is when it gets kind of funny. They, uh, Jesse says, oh, in the past, when we've done Angela videos, she's gotten us real good. She's made us lose our voices. And in those videos, they're pretending like they can't talk like, like, I can't talk. But they're really just not talking. And then, so, Jester runs. Jesse runs and gets a knife. He gets a bread knife that's serrated. And he goes over to the doll that they have that looks just like Angela. Because the app is so popular that they probably put dolls out about her. Or either that or, like I said, it's custom made. And someone may have even sent it to him that's a fan who maybe even has uh, a factory that makes dolls. I don't know. But... When he, right before he goes to cut the doll, he doesn't want to damage the doll. J Station, Jester, Mike, Graphnix, all of them, they're multi-millionaires. And they have multi-million subscriber channels. And they have so many different props, costumes, and dolls that they involve in their videos that they spend hundreds of dollars on, sometimes even thousands, that what they like to do is collect them. So that if you are friends with them, personal friends with them, and you go into their house, they've got an actual room where they have their collections of dolls and costumes and different things they use for all these videos. They will reuse their costumes at times in the future, but very little. They don't like reusing dolls unless it's just a sequel to their previous video. And they don't like to use, or sorry, reuse costumes because it kind of cheapens their brand and their channel. And they don't want you to catch on that their stuff is fake and staged. So right when he goes to cut his vocal cords out just like he's or angela's vocal cords out just like jester says oh they took our vote he took she took our vocal cords out in a previous video we're gonna take her vocal cords out they had to have a climax to the video so he goes to cut the vocal cords out and right before he does so because he doesn't want to harm it because he wants to like i said he wants to put the doll in his collection to where he can show his real life friends and family his cool collections they do a jump cut and then all the lights are out and Jester's got a flame. And because, of course, he's got a he's got a lighter handy because he knows the lights are just going to go out. <laughs> but, of course, the jump cut allowed them to turn the lights off. And then they're pretending like Angela has escaped. Angela's gone. She's somehow got up and walked away. But in the video, they're not showing Angela walking or anything like that because it's nothing but a doll. So I don't know how they do that unless they made it into a marionette or something. So Angela's gone somewhere in the house. They've got a flame or a lighter so they can see around. They're walking around and then they go over to where the stairs are. The famous stairs like the last video I did where he turns into the Hulk. Mike turns in the, into the Hulk and then carries Jester up the stairs to throw him off. But right before he throws him off, of course, he turns back to normal because they can't do that. But either way, those are the stairs and they got Angela propped up at the top of the stairs. They're trying to make it seem like Angela walked all the way to the top of the stairs and is standing up straight. But of course, Angela isn't real. Angela isn't even robotic, nor does it have any bones inside of it. It is simply a plush doll that they've propped up to make it look like she's standing up. That's when Jester says his bit. I'm sorry, Angela, we're going to leave and we're not going to come back until you are gone. So he says this so that he can wrap up his video, and we're going to get into that in a second. But what they do is they wanted to make it seem like Angela is actually responding, reacting, and saying out loud her response to what Jester just said. So what they've done is they've said what they say into the app off screen. They collect that audio of Angela saying something to the effect of leave and never come back. They put that in later in editing so that you think that Angela is actually saying it for herself as if she's real and magical in the moment. And then they attach it to the video in editing afterwards. So they have her say what they want her to say. And then they run out. Mike and Jester run out to the front yard. They're, in, they're then in the driveway in front of their vehicle, bent down as if to be scared. Mike's filming Jester and, of course, Jester does his shout outs to Mike for himself to subscribe to his channel and goes ahead and wraps up his video. <laughs> it's always funny to me making these videos because the lies and the trickery is just so clear to me and I love sharing it with you guys. So guys, be sure to subscribe. As always, I will always 
keep you guys up to date. We're going to drop another J Station video here in a couple of days. We need an update for him. As always, thank you so much for watching.